good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. I'm back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And man, I've been getting so many emails, man. Brother's been hitting me up asking me about this Aisha Curry situation. And you know I had to talk about it. You know Uncle O'Shea not gonna let you niggas down. So let's talk about it. So, you know, basically my man Steph Curry, man, you know, he is dealing with a loud mouth, all right? Um, Aisha Curry just don't know when to shut up, all right? Now, the little daughter, y'all saw her, you know, a few years ago in the press conference, and she always running her mouth, and that's because she got it from her mama. Steph Curry is a good brother, but he's with a loud mouth. And she don't know when to shut up and when to stop talking. This seems to be a problem in the black community. Seems like Steph Curry inherited that ass well when he married her ass. But, see, it's not that Aisha Curry talks a lot for being a no talent, because we all know who has the real talent in this relationship. It's Steph Curry, not her. What does she do? I'll wait. Jeopardy music! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> That's exactly right. She don't do nothing. Okay? She just sit there, look good, make some spaghetti, cereals, oatmeal, talking about she cooking. She don't do nothing, right? We all know who the real talent in the household is. That's Steph. Now, she has had three babies and three late, and three young, beautiful uh, black black young uh, girl right and shout out to them for being a couple and being married i do i do respect them for that but remember when steph curry's wife aisha curry was talking about she don't get no attention remember that she married and she been playing the good girl role and um she don't get no attention from other guys right and she was upset about that she don't get no male attention and, you know, like, here's the situation. I could understand. Now, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm almost close to my 40s, right? So I could understand a woman. A woman needs to feel beautiful at any age. I get it. I get it, right? A woman wants to look good for herself. But, you know, to still be wanting male attention when you are married, I mean, you know, and to say that publicly is bothersome. I can understand that you want, you know, you want men to still think that you are attractive, and she is attractive, right? I'm not gonna hold on that, but let me go ahead and play this clip. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually play this clip from her dating music. Something that really bothers me, and honestly has given me a sense, a little bit of insecurity, is the fact that yeah. There are all these women like throwing themselves at him, but me, like in the past 10 years, I don't have any of that. I have zero. This sounds weird, but like male attention, and so then I begin to internalize it like, what, is something wrong with me? Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. You talk too damn much. <laughs> but anyway. Let's go back to what's going on right now, okay? Aisha Curry was looking a little fat. You know, she had all them babies, and you know, Steph probably ain't tripping off her, ain't making her work out. She was looking like, you know, a little baby Kelly Price, right? Remember Kelly Price, you know? I can't hide the way I'm feeling inside. Remember that song? So she was, she was chugging it up, right? But then all of a sudden she come back and she just looked like like real like real fit. And she wasn't looking like that like six months ago. So what is being said out there is that she had a tummy tuck, right? Or fat transfer surgery. And now she posted a photo of herself. I mean, she looking like she just basically like she on the Olympic track team or something. That's her right there, right? She look fit. I mean, she ain't, I mean, I hate to say this, but she ain't working with nothing. Like, uh, she, she built like, uh, 
like the letter lowercase l. Okay. She was built like, like straight up and down. She ain't working with nothing. No top and no bottom. All right? Like, she don't have nothing. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what this is. She, 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 she's doing bad. But anyway, she's fit, right? But, and she got 837,000 thousand likes on this photo. But, why is she doing this, though? She's doing this because she wants to be an Instagram thought. In my opinion. Because remember, on Jada Pinkett's Red Table Talk, that garbage-ass show, she said that she wanted to have some men slide into her DMs, lightweight, get some attention, all that. Oh, that's what Instagram girls do. A lot of Instagram girls are not really messing with anybody. They are just starting it up for the gram. And see, she's a relatively young woman, right? And then it kind of goes back to what Gabrielle Union was saying. When you get married too young, maybe you ain't ready to get married. And at first I was thinking that that was like, you know, not the best thing to say. But it seems like Aisha got a little thought in her that she needs to let loose on the gram. Now, let's stop the show. My man Steph, if you listen to me, play it. You know why your wife went and got this tummy tuck, right? It wasn't for you to enjoy. Okay? Because I don't even really see how you enjoying any of that because she ain't working with nothing. I'm just being honest with you, bro. You know, black woman and, and, and kind of looking like that. I mean, I, I, I'm not hating on the ones that's skinny and then shaping them like that, but the way she looking, it's not even nothing that's a little curvaceous. I mean, you got to have something working. You got to have something going on. Something. At least something. All right? She is putting that photo out because she want Negroes to holla. That's the only way she trying to do this, bro. You out here making all these three-pointers. You shooting from half court, nigga. You doing finger rolls from down outside the freeway, nigga. Shooting, making shots from Oakland all the way to San Francisco. And your wife that you didn't have three babies by, she is out here wanting to be an IG thought. And they want to impress people that they don't even know. Let me talk to you. The, the, the biggest difference between men and women. All you young niggas out there listening to Uncle O'Shea under the sound of my voice. Do you know what the biggest difference is between men and women? I'm going to tell you. Women are heavily influenced by people they don't goddamn even know. And they care what people think that can't do nothing for their ass. That's what women are, they're influenced by that. A lot of women are influenced by how other people perceive them that ain't involved in their life. As men, we don't give a damn. We don't care nothing about that. If you ain't doing nothing for me, you know, I don't care about how you feel about me for the most part. I go around here, walk around damn near Poland, Uganda, Compton. Nigga, I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday. I don't, I don't care what you think. I know how much money I got in my bank account. But for a lot of, I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of women, they care. Aisha Curry care about people who has no control over her life. And I'm starting to think she cares a little bit too much in comparison to what her husband thinks. She want attention from people who can't do nothing for her. Ain't no man in the world can do for you what Steph Curry doing for you. And ain't no man going to do nothing for you like he will. But see, that's how it is. And I want to talk to you brothers about this, right? Because a lot of sisters want to talk about this. Well, if brothers complimented us more... If brothers uh, told us this more, big us up more in the black community, we would act a little bit better, right? We wouldn't have this insecurity. A lot of women want attention from random people that's not in their life. And when they want that, that ain't got anything to do with you. You can love her all you want. Tell her she's beautiful all you want. But the attention is not random enough. We're going to switch the script. What if Steph Curry got on his Instagram taking his shirt off? And all the women out there commenting on the post. 
she will lose her mind. She's ready to fight somebody. Say music. I know you ain't trying to talk to my man. Get my man. He's my man. See all of that, but see, it's okay for her to get attention, right? But if he do the same similar thing, they'll be mad. So I hope the young lady gets some, you know, gets over her own insecurities and don't turn into an Instagram Thadiana. All right, because the next thing you know, you're going to be trying to booty clap and twerking it up. And we don't want that for you. Right, boo? So anyways, guys, what do you think about this? This is your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. Go to the first comment pinned to the top, man. Y'all know how we do. First comment pinned to the top. And uh, appreciate all that you brothers are doing, man. As you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Check out the Black Men of Perfect t-shirts. We are 